I'm Jake. And I'm Christine. And over the past few months, we've done some reactions to a couple of Spoonie reviews. More specifically, the reviews where he either talks about or mentions in some passing Frank Stallone. We started out with his review of the very bad Bigfoot horror movie, Night Claws, <laughs> where Frank had a very uh, poor man Shyamalan twist appearance, and uh, his review of the Reb Brown movie, Last Flight to Hell, which on its VHS featured a trailer for a movie that apparently stars Frank Stallone, Lethal Games. So today, we're going to be reacting to Spoonie's review of the Frank Stallone action movie, Lethal Games. What do you think's gonna happen? Lots of gun violence. You're not far off. <laughs> it's not Red Brown, but it's, um... No screaming? It's interesting, like, a movie that stars Rocky and Rainbow's younger brother. How exactly is this gonna play out? Everybody wondered, well... Without further ado, let's jump into it. Aww. Oh, this is awkward now. <laughs> I'll explain later. Um. <laughs> that was April. Uh, Noah's girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are. Bring the noise. Now it's my best day. This was the first uh, review of 2014. So long ago. I know it's crazy. <laughs> this is the year I discovered these motherfuckers. One of the first ones you watched. I found the nostalgia critic first. Mm -hmm. He came on the way like the cinema snob. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've seen this intro. Has it been with any of the spoony reviews I've showed you so yeah. far? It's a pretty good intro. Mm -hmm. All right, Red Brown Month is nearly upon us. Everyone's favorite month of the year. This, is cool. this one promises to be the greatest one of all. That's Burr and the Robot. <laughs> Stop it! I told you to never ever play that fucking clip again! <laughs> anyway, ever since that movie. That's it, you son of a bitch. Come over here! Stop you Studios. To Bali Flea reference. Uh, who just won? Alright, gentlemen, 
There he is. Good dying. Now you have me, you're all dead. Let's go home. Come on. What the fuck just happened? I just feel like I got slapped by this movie. You know, I've seen a lot of shit in my life, but that could be the biggest what the fuck moment I've ever seen in a movie. I don't know, I just wasn't ready for that. I can't tell, but this scene rip off the Wrath of Khan. You know, it started off with the Kobayashi Maru and it looked real and then everyone died. Then he found out it was all a training exercise. It even sounds like a shitty ripoff of that movie. Ah. Uh -huh. Sounds just like eighty three music. Looks like it's music. Seventies, right? Maybe. Oh, this was a game of paintball. This wasn't uh, a military what? exercise. Yeah, blowing up. What? There's even a love shot where they're rescuing a hostage. There were fucking helicopters. Who was piloting helicopters? I think they got their movie scenes mixed up. I think so. I think this was a planned movie scene, and they were like, okay, how do we use this scene in this? Uh, paintball? Paintball grenades that exploded totally harmless fireballs made of burning stolen paint. I think, it looks like he had an, an afro. I don't know. Just, uh, it looks pretty dangerous <laughs> for a paintball range. Coco, I'm leaving here until you clean up all the mess and put back from the lawns. Damn, she has to clean up the whole village? Well, there goes her weekend. Is there a problem, Mac? Is there a problem, Mac? Hey, you're out of here and you're fired. Well, you just saw everything Frank did in that. What an asshole. He stood around with binoculars and then he stood around and bitched at a lady named. Bravo, folks. This is how you introduce your badass action hero. Spielberg, take notes. What the fuck was this? <laughs> Sexiest badass archaeologist there ever was. I could do that kind of sound. I think he can walk that off. 
Who are they? Okay, is it the fifth or the sixth? Scientist character, he does. <laughs> Doctor Insano. <laughs> I think you've seen this. <laughs> He's a better actor than the other guy. Noah's got a lot of talent. Only I uh, use it more. Frank's own movie. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's why I've gone back through my script, and every time I wrote the words, what the fuck, I'm just going to read some of these porno titles off. Because I think those are just about the only things that help explain the plot. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for some Linkara and Cinema Snob cameos. We're here. That's John T. Bone, director of such films as A Fistful of Bimbos, Sergeant Pecker's Lonely Hearts Club Gangbang, Blow for Blow, Garden of Eaton, Satin Angel, Images of Desire, Harry Horndog's 26. Oh <laughs> what happened to 25? <laughs> Why 26? Huh? Oh, Is that a shoe? Oh, why didn't she shoot? What the fuck? Oh, no! Oh, no! The only cool lady in the whole entire movie just blew up. Smooth as silk. <laughs> Oral maturity for titillation to the more than equal sequel. <laughs> Good. Because I was, I was actually working. It, it would not equal the quality of the first one. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy they pulled out all the stops for titillation two to answer all of my questions from titillation one. Quickies. Oddly enough, it's probably a three-hour movie. So the guy was close enough to throw a bundle of dynamite into her trailer, but was also too far away from her to line up a good shot with a shotgun. This guy throws like a superhero. We play quarterback for the NFL. Wait, they're still practicing? Oh no, 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 bad idea, don't do that. Here's your grenade. Thank you. That she got from where? Max? What the fuck are you doing? What? Is everyone in this building right out of their goddamn minds? What the fuck? That's John T. Bone, director of such films as The Adventures of Dick Black, the Black <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine, the British are coming. That one is spelled C O M I N G, so I don't know the consistency. Confused. Double penetration 2. Fantasy Chamber. Gang Bang Shots 2. Totally anal. Basics. All I want for Christmas is a gang bang. <laughs> Wait. No way. She's alive. What the fuck? And carry her AC? No, TV. <laughs> of course. Gotta save the TV sets. I would. Hang on, if she moved fast enough to get into the front seat, why wasn't she fast enough to throw the dynamite back out of the trailer? You know what? Fuck it. Why am I spelling this out for you? I'll put this in soon. And she grabbed her TV while the thing was blowing up, and she got to the front seat. Deep obsession. <laughs> He's reviewed three E.T. pornos. What? Yeah, Brad's reviewed three E.T. pornos. Why the fuck does that even exist? I actually have a copy of that. <laughs> I haven't watched it, but... He's now reviewed it. <laughs> and it's sequel. Yes, they mean two who being Rosie and Rabbits. Finally? Shield the heroes. This is more fun than shooting Easter bunnies on a Sunday morning. What the hell is that? Okay, these grenades are about as effective as water balloons. After a few minutes of this, the bad guys just suddenly get back in their cars and leave. I think they just ran out of ammo killing paintball players. So, it's been an hour and two minutes before Frank Stallone does anything in this movie. And it's only because he was directly attacked, and he hit absolutely no one. <laughs> you know, John, I'm starting to think action is not even worth it. Now, porn! <laughs> porn, I know you can do porn. And there's a lot of sexy chicks in this movie. You can, you can work in a topless scene, get them in a hot tub, and from there, things get hardcore. No! Not the sheriff! God, God. damn you, John T. 
Oh, a headshot. Harry back. So Harry, you can actually tell in the terrible quality. That's some thick hair. <laughs>
dirt bags, blondes, les be friends. I think there I think John is running out of title ideas. <laughs> I like how he overlaid their reading of those titles. Yeah, it was very cool. Mm -hmm. Very fun collaboration yeah. between the three of them. This is a sad ending. And nowadays, turns out it was pretty much all for nothing, this tribute he made. Mm -hmm. um, before we talk about the review, um, what I said at the beginning, this is awkward now, that tribute he had. You want to know why it's kind of awkward? This guy not dead. He is, but when he was alive, he was a pretty big game reviewer. Yeah. He was a huge member of Channel Awesome for a while. Yeah. And um, he was very close friends with Noah and uh, Linkara and many other reviewers. Yeah. He was considered the Mr. Rogers of Channel Awesome because of how nice he was. Mm -hmm. uh, his name was Justin Carmichael. His reviewer nickname, uh, Juwario. Mm -hmm. Because he was a Jew who loved Mario. Okay. And when he died, Noah did his tribute. And in fact, every review he put out after Lethal Games, he put that hat on the wall behind him as a tribute. Yeah. Well, last year when the controversy with Channel Awesome started with the max exodus of people there, yeah. and a bunch of stuff um, started coming up, one of the things that came up was that there had been a sexual predator at Channel Awesome. Yeah. And a couple of detective work and people were able to figure out the apparent sexual predator was Juwario. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, he went from being considered the Mr. Rogers to the Bill Cosby of the internet. Okay. And, uh... You see these tributes, and they're very heartfelt. Yeah. But it just feels a little awkward now, knowing um, what you know now, and sad. Yeah. Any thoughts? Um, I mean, he still passed away. I think they're giving tribute to their friend. It's shitty that their friend did something that's not good. And yeah. They didn't but, know at the yeah, time. Yeah, they didn't know at the time, and. But it's, uh, now it's a little awkward to see these really yeah. heartfelt, genuine things and uh, just um, knowing what this guy was yeah. like. I mean, I feel I, my heart goes out to Noah like, in that moment because like, yeah, he's upset. It was uh, taking away who the guy was. Yeah. It was a wonderfully done tribute. Yeah. Anyway, moving on from sad and depressing and even more depressing, yeah. let's talk about the reveal. <laughs> How does Lethal Games look to you? Absolutely fucking terrible. Yeah. I, I actually own this movie. I was Why? Because <laughs> I was fucking curious. You know me. <laughs> a lot of the stuff I have owned, I, it's because I've seen these guys review them. And, uh, I just want your own curiosity. Yeah. He only reviewed maybe 20 minutes worth of it mm -hmm. in this review. I, I, saw, I watched the whole thing, and seeing the movie in its entirety, it's even worse. Oh, God. It's really slow, it's really bad, and once again, yeah, Frank Stallone, he is not the star of this movie. Yeah. He's an over-glorified cameo, pretty much. This is actually a pretty female-based action movie. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, if only it was actually good. Yes. And, um, the stuff... Obviously not directed by a female. The s <laughs> <laughs> well... There's that. <laughs> Not everybody can get Patty Jenkins. And um, the woman uh, who was kidnapped and yes. tied up and um, 
raped as he said she was. Yeah. The, the whole movie is pretty bad, pretty cheesy, over the top. But those scenes are actually legitimately disturbing. Yeah. Like, you can see those and say, A Clockwork Orange. Mm -hmm. So, it really feels out of place and really the tone just takes a completely dark turn that doesn't match everything else. And you almost wonder why, like, yeah. why did you have to go to that level? Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna be exploitive and be exploitive in the, the way that matches everything else. Yes. And um, back when Noah was still pretty active, um, as of right now, he has done a video game stream, which he hadn't done for eight months, mm -hmm. but uh, he appears to, for the moment, appear resurfaced. Yeah. Outside of Twitter, he doesn't really do much on YouTube these days, and 2014, the year this video came out, mm -hmm. was the last year that he was really very active. Uh, he has done videos in 2015 and 16 but they were significantly lesser than before. Mm -hmm. And I've said it before, I'll say it again, I hope that Noah can come back someday, yeah. either through his own channel or maybe through another person's, because mm -hmm. there are many people who, some people really don't like him anymore, but mm -hmm. there are some who really do, like Linkara. Yeah. And it's nice that him and Brad appear, because of everybody, they're the uh, people that I'd say Noah was probably as the was the closest, had the best relationship with. So it was cool to have them appear. Yeah. Brad not wearing his snob gear, but uh, <laughs> he knows porn, so of course he'd be the one to read. And it's funny that it's that Lewis is doing this because he kind of established himself as a PG-13. Kind of guy. Yeah, and um, you notice how he, every time he said fuck, it was bleeped out. Mm -hmm. That's because Lewis never says fuck or shit, mm -hmm. with the rare exception. And I, I like that Noah, I guess, was respectful enough to bleep it out when he said it. Yeah. But that was a fun part, just reading those titles. Yeah, that's uh, really clever. The Adventures of Dick Black, the Black Dick. Dick. Everything that Brad said he owned a copy of, he has reviewed. Invasion of the Samurai Sluts from Hell, Who Reamed Rosie Rabbit, and for his 10th anniversary, where he did a whole bunch of special follow-up reviews. Mm -hmm. He did Who Reem Rosie Rabbit 2. I don't know why that needed a sequel. And, <laughs> and it's interesting, it looks like a lot of John T. Bones filmography were sequels. Mm -hmm. So um, was he like... The, that successful, the, the first one? Was he the guy they just dumped, like porn directors lost interest after number one, they're like, here, you do them. Something, something, 26. And, uh, Frank Stallone, I think he's best, uh, just being Sylvester's younger brother. Yeah, he shouldn't be in movies, at least. He had a funny cameo in that Vince Vaughn movie, Fred Claus, mm -hmm. where he's part of a celebrity brother support group, where he meets up with Stephen Baldwin mm -hmm. and Roger Clinton. And, uh, yeah, but Frank Stallone, he actually has a pretty good career as a musician. Mm -hmm. He did the soundtrack songs for a lot of the Rocky movies, uh, the second Rambo movie, um, Staying Alive, which Sylvester Stallone directed. Oh, yeah. So, um, so yeah, um, he is talented as a, in that regard, but as for movies, this is clearly, they just, they wanted the name Stallone. Yes. And... Man, is he just bland. I don't know what to say, um, the movie's bad, but this review is fucking gold. Just, he makes the best of what is honestly a pretty boring movie. Like Noah, when he puts his mind to it, when he really gives it his all, he can make just about any bad movie. Uh, look entertaining? Yeah, look entertaining, if only for 20 to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, thumbs up to this review? Thumbs up. Cool. Thanks. If you want us to check out this review reaction free, click the link down below and maybe check out the other videos on this channel. Maybe subscribe and check out my other YouTube channel. Link's also down below. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.